All right, guys, it's JoJo on the radio. I told you guys he was going to roll up, and I'm so pumped. I haven't seen him in a minute. Sean Mendez. What's, What's going up, on? Man? Hey. Hey, uh, all right. Is it tr- he? W- we were just talking off the air, and you think I, you know, you think I sound like Ryan. I don't, I guess it's a weird way to start the interview. I mean, yeah, you think this I sound is like great. Ryan. You think, not look like, but sound like Ryan. You Tedder. could look like him a little. You sound like him. It's something, what? it's just like you, you're, you're speaking your thoughts. What does like, that, what does that mean? You do, like, you just like do a lot of like, um, you can, like that, that we just did. You really? just did the thing. So you can like see my brain, my wheels kind of ticking. I can hear it actually out loud. <laughs> Is that a good thing? It's or hilarious. Like... It's really funny. So do you like me more or less? I like you more for it, so it's All good, right. yeah. That's good. Do you know what I'm thinking now? <laughs> I have no idea. All right, Sean Mendez hanging out. Sean Mendez, this album, a uh, lot of secret stuff going on. A lot on. of secret stuff. We'll get to the single in a second, which you know I think is just brilliant. Thank you. But uh, your fans are going to hit me up about this album. You know, how, how far along is the album uh, and the title of it? That's soon. the big whole thing, you know. Really, really soon. We don't have a title yet. However, however, you've got these two singles in my blood and lost in Japan. Lost in Japan, and there was some uh, I don't want to say they controversy, just, but some they, speculation with the artwork. Yeah, they, 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 I, the, the fans do some crazy CIA stuff, you know, like they they find artwork, and because there was a little bit of spacing in between the letters, they thought that I was, you know, being sneaky and trying to send them a secret message. So they flipped the artwork upside down. They connected the two photos, and between the two titles of the songs appeared lost in my pain <laughs> which just sounds funny to even say it loud but so they think that that's secretly maybe the title of the album and i'm sorry to tell you guys it is not um i'm not that good that does seem like a really cool you know this is actually a way book. better story too What's that? uh so <laughs> months ago i must have posted a photo uh me and scott harris who's a writer i work with and i, I the, on the photo is like day 8806 right just like a random number because we were in the studio for forever, it felt like. Right. And they're like, oh, my God. <laughs> I, I, I hate that. I wish this was actually true. Like, oh, my God. Like, this is so this is so amazing because they added 8,806 to get 22, which was the date in my blood came out. And then they saw that Scott was kind of doing like a peace sign in the background. And they thought it meant three. So they're like, they, they secretly were showing us 322, March 22nd, as the release Whoa. date. Yeah. And I was like, There's, how are they even fine? <laughs> this is definitely not planned at all. I can imagine that being really confusing to hear over. That it, but that, no, no that's, uh, that's just, that shows you the extent your fans will go to. Yeah, and they, it's kind they, of brilliant. It's brilliant. It but, is brilliant. I wish I was as brilliant as they thought I was. But if they're, <laughs> if they're doing that, they must have gone through other photos and oh, yeah. come across like a bunch of other stuff that didn't make any sense. Yeah. So how do they rationalize the ones that didn't mean anything? Uh, you, Maybe you that's just, me, well, I, just fan mind. Uh, that probably didn't make any sense what I even said. Yeah, you were you were running like you if you're gonna like if you're sending a secret code you have to send secret code that's wrong so you had to send so <laughs> yeah. I'm overthinking it now yeah you are <laughs> all right Sean Mendez, uh, Mendez hanging out you guys we're gonna come back I'm gonna play one of the most spectacular songs I've heard in a long time it's a first listen oh my godder if you know what I'm saying so back in a, in a moment with Sean Mendez don't move all right we're back you guys it's JoJo on the radio uh, Sean Mendez hanging out Sean uh, they gave me this track in my blood to do this world premiere on the other night and uh, you know first listen. It's. I mean, and I was hyped up on the song. Like they, they hyped it up. Like Sean's been working on this stuff. His new material it's is scary when yeah, they hype it up. Yeah, when they hype it up, because nine times it, out of ten, it's right. just yeah. How can you live up to that hype? Of course. He, the new stuff he's working on is just next level. He's hitting this. You know, he's 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 become what he's been working for for so, all, he, all this hype. Right. They give they give us this track. Here's in my blood. So I go to play it, ready to be because once again it can't live up to that. Right. I play this song. Hair on my arm standing up. That's Thank a good way to judge a track. Yeah, really. that's the perfect way. That's the way. Spectacular. Thank you, man. Thank you. I want to know more about this song than anybody else it, knows. It is the is the reason, you know, le- like thinking about why I started listening to music in the first place was that kind of electric guitar, rock ballad, conceptually talking about something that is very personal, that, you know, is relatable at the same time. Um, and that's what I went into the studio to achieve. I went in and, and I was thinking, how am I going to be treat you better and holding me back in stitches? And the first thing that I thought of was just be completely honest with yourself. Like, make music that is honest. And if you love it, hopefully people love it too. And that's kind of what happened. And the statement you put on Instagram, you made a, you had this statement you put up the night, the night before. Uh, part of it said, this song is the closest song to my heart I've ever written. Is there yeah. a story there? Not trying to get names if it's about a person or if it's about you or whoever. No, I mean, it's is about it... me. It's it's definitely the story is is pretty much identical to, you know, an experience of mine. And I think that... So there is a, an, it, don't, you don't have to say it, yeah. but there is an experience. A, a, it, this not, not a, it's not a generic no, moment. No, this, this, this is a moment in my life. And I, 
it's always scary to kind of release something like that, you know, to be vulnerable and to like really kind of let yourself open up like that. Um, but I think that's that's what makes songs great is when you can like really connect in in, in a deep way like that. And uh, the reaction is is so much better than than I even imagined it would be. People are really connecting. Friends of mine who I haven't spoke to in a long time reaching out and telling me how much it means to them. So it's I'm really happy with it. All right, well let's do it. Uh, we gave you this world premiere the other night. Let me play it again. You're gonna hear this song a lot because once again it is just spectacular. Sean Mendez. In my blood on Kiss FM. All right, guys. JoJo on the radio in the studio with Sean Mendez. Sean, uh, man, it's just, it's just, I'm so pumped to have you here. I love you. Your tattoos. You got five tats. Love now. you and your tattoos as well. <laughs> when, uh, uh, I mean, you got five. We now. should all get one together one day. That'd be fun. Let's. Oh my God, you're the first artist to ask me before I ask you. Oh really? Yeah. Let's I, do that. You want to do it? Let's do it. We should. We'll get someone to come out. I'm, I'm there. Uh, well. You know, Okay. Okay. Done. Just think of something. I'll do it. We've Some... done, I've done a few on the air before. Oh, I would do that with you too. It's uh, you know, it's it's, it's kind of a weird dynamic because you're on the air and we're chatting, and it's just also getting tattooed. There's just, get... uh, in exactly. the background, and every now and then you hear like ah, yeah. you know, but it's 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 kind of one of those things. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. Uh, and by the way, uh, I was curious, like you know, you've you've become this thing now. You you know, you've started off with this younger artist, and you become this you know a level artist. I mean, what what's your what's your fam? Are they like your mom must go to the grocery store now, and Always. she's walking through and like. Hey, uh, Miss, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I don't know what they call her. Like, yeah, Miss Miss Raymond. Actually, my mom doesn't have my last name. So Miss Raymond. So Miss so, yeah. Miss Raymond. How's Sean? She must hear that all, all the time. Yeah, I'm sure it drives her nuts. But my parents are they are they are the probably the reason I've been able to just stay so calm through the process. They it's almost like they've experienced another son who's gone through this, and they know exactly what to say all the time. So it's really I'm lucky for that. You still live up in Canada? I do. I live in Toronto. I live alone now, so I have to do all the things like cook. Oh no. <laughs> That's awful. Yep. That's terrible. It's really awful. When, are you ever going to get a house uh, in uh, here in L.A.? Yeah, I probably will. I, it definitely, especially when I go around to make music the next time. Well, uh, when you, whenever you move it, well, even if you don't move to L.A., yeah. come, come hang out. We'll yeah, get some we coffee. Get tattoos and tattoos. coffee. There yep. we go. All right. At the end of every interview, Sean Mendes, fist bump to make it official. Bah! <laughs>